Hello and welcome to Dubai Air Show 2023 here with uh, Reaction Engines and also uh, Cranfield Aerospace Solutions. We'll talk to these guys right now. Mark and Paul, welcome to Dubai Air Show TV. Hey, great to see you again. Good to see you. We had a great time in Farnborough a few years ago, didn't we? And uh, welcome to Dubai Air Show TV for you as well. Uh, good to see you too. Thank you. Now, let's talk about Reaction Engines first of all. Everybody is talking, and quite rightly, about net zero and sustainability. You guys are so well placed and have been for a long time to exploit the advantages of net zero and sustainability. Tell me where you are with that right now. Yeah, absolutely. A great, great start. Um, so we're best known as a space company, but what we've done is taken our space technology and migrated it towards other sectors of higher importance at this point in time. So net zero being the imperative. We're taking our cooling technology that was engineered for space systems into uh, platforms like zero emissions aircraft, you know, fuel cell powered aircraft, working with Crown for the aerospace. Uh, because you know, the amount of heat that these, these devices generate is large and we've got a fantastic way of moving that heat around and making it less of a problem. Now, give me a short history of reaction engines. Been around about 30 years, so started looking at space planes and air breathing rocket engines, so really out there stuff. But that allowed us to develop some really unique technology, particularly lightweight, high performance, ultra compact heat exchangers. Um, as we sort of you know, widened the aperture, we saw a huge opportunity for those, those sorts of technologies. And, uh, and with the emergence of net zero, you know, that's really been a sweet spot for us. But and you say the emergence of net zero and sustainability, how easy has it been for you to adapt your technology to leverage the best results from that? Well, well I'm a big believer in serendipity and I think it's been a, a great amount of serendipity that our technology is, is a beautiful, beautiful fit for net zero aviation concepts particularly, you know, because of the attributes that uh, our heat exchangers have, you know. It buys its way into aerospace you know, fa fairly easily, but you've got to find the right partners. It's, the whole industry is all about collaboration, and we're really lucky to have a partner like Cranfield Aerospace Solutions. Absolutely. You talk about partnerships, and we were just going to go on to that. Paul Hutton from Cranfield Aerospace Solutions. Obviously, you've been working with react reaction engines for quite a while, but this week you signed an MOU. Tell me about that. So, yes, uh, as you say, we've signed an MOU. That's really about the fact that we've recognised that there is more than one project now that we need to work together on. Um, we effectively are developing hydrogen fuel cell powered um, aerospace propulsion systems that both go into small aircraft, nine seat aircraft and above, but also cargo drones. Now, all of those systems will only operate efficiently if we can get the heat out without creating drag. So we need state-of-the-art thermal management and these guys, they're a cutting edge of that technology. So we're putting that cutting edge technology onto existing aircraft today and the new cargo drone solutions that are coming out. So it's a perfect combination of companies working together. And I think we're both very conscious that the challenge we've got here of zero emission solutions for aviation isn't going to be solved by being competitive. We've got to work together. The only competitor really here is time. Uh, you are, it's fair to say, a market leader in zero emissions aircraft products. Uh, how do you see the market adapting and changing over the next couple of years? I think um, what we're seeing, certainly in the last six to 12 months, is there's a recognition that the solutions can happen much more quickly than people were expecting. Certainly at the smaller end of the market, where you're using gaseous hydrogen as opposed to liquid. We've still got some challenges carrying liquid fuel because it needs to be kept so cool. But there's a huge expansion of demand for small sub-regional aircraft and increasingly now drones of all, all shapes and sizes, including cargo drones, and you, you may have, have heard in the news, we signed a deal recently for 1,300 systems to Dronamics, a cargo drone uh, provider. So I think there'll be a big focus on these smaller aircraft and the propulsion solutions for them. Paul, well, thank you very much for your insight and your time. Mark, too. Thank you very much. Uh, we'll see you again on another show. Thank you. Okay, now for the latest, of course, from Reaction Engines and from Cranfield uh, Aerospace Solutions, find them online. For the latest for Dubai Air Show, follow us on our socials, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and download the official app.